Hello my lovely Pisces, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what's coming for you for the month of October 2022. Pisces, Pisces, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading. This is a general reading for Pisces like yourself. Sun, Moon and Rising, so take the messages that resonate and drop the rest. Oh <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm ever so grateful. I am indeed very grateful for you being here. Don't be shy, subscribe if you like, join in, join in, and of course comment and like if you feel that way. Pisces, what's coming for you? Beginning of the month. Oh, this is an interesting middle of the month and end of the month. Okay. I think you're really starting enjoying this period of time, Pisces, because this is kind of your era of spirituality, and October is full of it, buckets full of it. Hey, High Priestess and Nine of Pentacles. Mm. This is your energy currently. You are feeling you're like top, you're top of the world. You are so confident. The confidence is just oozing out of you. And you know how to reach things and places and people and everything that you touch turns to gold. You're like an alchemist. This sort of powerful... Um, and that's why I felt like, Pisces, I really felt... It's kind of like your season. I know your season is not here, but this kind of spiritual season of... Um, uh, being very spiritual is here and the reason is I'm going to tell you now we do have the full moon in Aries Aries is beginning of zodiac full moon is end of the endings and there's a lot of starting and endings and chapters changing and things are wrapping up and something new starting coming 18th and 20th October the veil becoming much much thinner up at the peak to the 31st of October of Halloween and then in the first week of November it's going to be heck of a time a lot of spiritual things magic happening uh souls visiting you might visit your fa soul family or have crazy dreams even right really interesting dreams you know and expect that however very important to have a, a psychic and spiritual protection put yourself in a white light around yourself because there is different parts of the world and you probably are aware of there is not just good but there is the other side as well. So just be mindful, okay, if you're into that sort of thing. Look, we have the high priestess and she does know how to. What is what? It's kind of like secrets being revealed. Some sort of, it's kind of like it feels that you have stumbled across some sort of knowledge or a book or something or a person that has really um, invested in you or you have found this knowledge that is really working out. You are maybe, it seems like you are so in sync with the universe, with the law of attraction, with every single thing that is. And you are really cashing in. And not just actually just the money. It could be money as well. But it kind of feels that things are really working out for you. And that's how it feels. Things work out for you, for your highest good. And you feel like you're on top of the world. And it's amazing. It is amazing. Wow, let's have a look what we have at the beginning of the month. We have temperance. It's kind of, you're trying some sort of new things here. Something that you have never tested before. You are maybe a little bit shy and reluctant. But with temperance, dipping toes little bit by little by little in the unknown, you're kind of testing out the new waters. Yeah, slowly, surely. Maybe you are trying to build your own business or you're um, kind of trying to walk away from whatever you used to before and you want to do some sort of other side hustle or something. It could be something to do with spirituality even, right? Because you're very strong in it. You're very intuitive. You're very, you can read between the lines. You can read people like no one else. And you read situations. You literally see through the walls nearly. And the here we have as well is the healing that is happening i think you bring a lot of healing for a lot of people with the advice that you give with the time and energy that you give you're a real kind of spiritual teacher in ways and with four pentacles you're really kind of um 
holding yourself in interesting position where you you want to change this but you don't want to change yet as much but you are really curious there's something interesting happening here at the beginning of the month where you're kind of very curious of this new adventure that has been offered to you or you're carving your own road you're carving your own journey right don't be shy this card does talk about sometimes you might be a little bit shy on something new but do not be shy have that courage and go for it do go for it we have the four and four and that is definitely a strong message from angels that they are around you the the spirit world is around you so close if you know how to use it do not abuse it but sinking into that tapping into that energy is super important buckle up oh yeah oh yeah pisces because you are really you have touched yeah the gold mine not just about money but there's some sort of your this part this stage in your life or at the moment it kind of feels that you you you're like a mastery of alchemy you know how to manifest things you know how to tapping into this spiritual world where when you need an answer you get it when you see something that can't be no one else can see it or understand you ask the question you get that answer and you know how to read between the lines it's kind of like amazing as if you have the have this magic kind of um powers yeah that's how it feels wow Alrighty. oh two kings we got there you are you are reaching the really big highs there and definitely we have king of cups and king of wands well king of cups is someone who knows how to weather storms but king of cups knows how to um not just manipulate people but how to read them maybe you're thinking of maybe doing readings or becoming a psychotherapist or some sort of our spiritual teacher or something where you actually empower because one's is empowerment it's the willpower it's the passion and it's the drive you find the right words you know how to master these things and you know how to teach as well it's such a strong kind of such a strong energy is coming from here Pisces this is this is crazy and you know it's crazy but you st and you're loving it this is kind of big big stuff happening yes people and I kind of feel that even if you're not thinking maybe to work consciously with people on everyday basis when you talk to people spending your time with them or energy whatever listening you help so many you don't even realize how many people you help and you might say i don't want to help anyone <laughs> i don't want to talk, talk to anyone and nothing like that but the way you live the way you see things and the people do observe people always pay attention to that you do inspire your courage and your, your, your courage and your faith, your knowledge and your wisdom is immense. Absolutely immense. Here we are. We have page of ones and we have the justice. So page of ones is you haven't maybe taken a decision yet. You maybe haven't made any um, decision yet how to approach things. And you are at kind of at stage where you like, okay, how I'm going to do this? What is actually I want? what is how i want how i'm going to do this it's kind of like a, at the drawing board you really you have to you dream big and that's for sure because we have the pyramids here this is kind of feels like far away but if i can see my mind's eye if i can see them in my heart it's there and that's how it feels so with the justice as well it's the 11th hour oh yes that's what it is. Pisces, this is... Oh, have you ever experienced 11th hour? This is the month when you experience the 11th hour. I really want you to experience it and let me know what you how, how you feel about it. Because this is kind of like things fall in place. You know, like you had some dream, you have some courage, this, 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 this. And then when it's all aligned, everything that you need, 
in a, there's a certain point where it's like, this is what I'm going to do. And probably at near the end of the month or coming to the no, no, beginning of November even, it's going to come like, like that. And you like, like, like the King of Wands is having the wand on the ground. He's like smashing it to the ground and saying, this is what I'm going to do. And justice is cutting in half and saying, cutting it, no, cutting off every something old and going in with the new. And you're going to make the justice. You might kind of feel that you want to do the world better place. That's, that's the one. But you will figure it out and you will figure out how to better to do this. Pisces, this is so strong. This is so, so strong. Wow. Slippery road. Give yourself a time. Do not trust yourself into things because you might kind of, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Do not waste time on wishy-washy. Dream big. Dream what you want to do. Don't worry about how you're going to do it yet. That will come in, in the right time. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's have a look. Let's dive in what else we have for you for this month. Let's have a look. If this resonates with you, don't be shy. Press that like button, of course. The energy is gaining momentum. Absolutely. Energy is gaining momentum. And as I said, you might not be able to make decision yet, but you are growing on it. You're really growing onto that. Um, becoming bigger and bigger and stronger in your mind. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. This is yourself who is coming through. And this is the heart chakra as well. It's talking about um, releasing your dreams. Because when your heart is full of dreams, there's no place for fear. And do not worry about uh, nitty gritty things. Uh, don't. Things will come the right timing. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Thank you. You're putting down new seeds, as you can see, and it might take time, but energy is gaining momentum. Absolutely. Level-headedness. It will grow on you. Don't become big-headed because you are such a strong and a powerful person, personality, excuse me, Pisces. But level-headedness is very important, so you do not lose these powers in a ways. Yes. Ooh beautiful victory your desire is coming to fruition keep up the good work it's coming it's coming it's around you it's near you no that's not that let's have a look what we have here for you yes indeed you have special bond with animals your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels very interesting as well this card is talking about unconditional love this is the love that animals give us and maybe you spend time with your animals and they give you so much love and um you you really relax this kind of maybe your med type of meditation even bringing dog or cat or whatever else for walk is a meditation right and then as well look for the signs because animals are very um important omens to bring us messages um, either this is through butterflies or feathers or whatever that is. Yes, 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 yes. Alrighty, Pisces. Oh, what we have, what we have. That indeed. Ask your angels. Ask your angels. Decision that you will probably need to make. You might not be able to make yet in October, but you're growing on it. And ask for guidance. Ask for guidance to either to the book, to the person, to something, something, somewhere. When you ask, it's given. And the answers might come in various ways. Expect unexpected and especially magic. Alrighty, Pisces. That's all I have for you today. And have a great month. I send you love and light. Thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.